reasons that Brock Purdy was excluded from ESPN's list of the top 10 quarterbacks in the NFL. Analytically, you can see some reasons why Brock Purdy did not crack the top 10 list, even though I think he should be a top 10 quarterback and is a top 10 quarterback in the NFL. Here's ESPN's reasoning behind it. One of the NFL's best stories, Purdy, last pick of the 2022 draft, is 17-4 and four as a starter, a near Super Bowl winner, and an MVP finalist. His play is incredibly efficient. With the league leading 72.8 QBR in his first full year as a starter, he's already on the board with four playoff wins. All of this has put him into the fringe top 10 category. It's hard to call him top 10 based on the guys ahead of him, but it's hard to keep him out of the top 10 too. An NFC executive said he willed that team to the Super Bowl, only right to give him serious consideration. As far as game planning, Purdy has more limitations than some of the quarterbacks ahead of him, according to multiple evaluators. He's very good at navigating the pocket, buying time, using his legs. You're not going to win because of him in most cases. A separate NFC exec said he's a really good system quarterback. Ah, you knew that somebody was going to throw out system quarterback for Brock Purdy. But how about that quote of Brock Purdy putting the team on his back, leading them to the Super Bowl? I mean, he was one of the big reasons on top of the defense getting it stuffed together why the Niners came back from that second half deficit against the Green Bay Packers and then came back from down 17 at halftime to the Detroit Lions. Give credit where credit is due. That's all I ask in life, whether it's sports or off the field. Give credit where credit is due. And Brock Purdy deserves credit for Kyle Shanahan's offense looking the best that it's ever looked since Kyle Shanahan took over in 2017. Now, there are some areas where Brock Purdy can improve. There are areas where Brock Purdy has to get better because he has struggled a little bit in a couple of key areas as a quarterback in the National Football League, especially last year during his first full season as a starter. First, when the Niners are trailing in the second half the last two years, Brock Purdy doesn't play his best football. He's 22nd in passer rating and 33rd in overall rating when the Niners are down in the second half of games. That is partially due to Brock Purdy struggling after recess when down on the scoreboard. It also has to do with Kyle Shanahan always struggling, especially going into the fourth quarter when his teams are down. Remember that dubious statistic of Kyle Shanahan being like 0-35 when trailing by X amount of points going into the fourth quarter, they finally were able to throw that dubious mark in the trash can against Green Bay and then again against the Detroit Lions when the Niners stormed back in the NFC Championship game. So the play calling, Shanahan getting tight, the scheme being just built better when the Niners are ahead as compared to down all reasons for this, but early down passes in the first three quarters, look at where Purdy ranked last year. First in EPA per attempt, number one in success rate, number one in yards per attempt, number one in first down rate, number one in rate of passes to gain 20 plus yards, and number one in rate of passes to gain 10 plus yards, 15 and 37% on those latter two statistics. And then when the Niners threw deep, Purdy was awesome. Number six in EPA per attempt, number five in success rate, number four in yards per attempt at 16.1. As finally, Kyle Shanahan got to see what his offense can look like with the quarterback who can complete a long ball. Hello, Jimmy Garoppolo. And number three in first down rate at 59%. Not only, though, is Purdy struggled when down in the second half of games, he has struggled against top defenses. And last year, we certainly saw that. Sharp football analysis with this insight here. It's fair at this point to restate that the Niners played the number 10 easiest schedule of pass defenses last year. They played just four games against top 10 pass defenses a year ago, and they lost three of those four games. Week one, they won 30-7 to against the Steelers. Purdy was dropping dimes. Week six was a loss, 19-17 against the Browns. No Debo there. Week 7 loss against the Vikings, 22-17. No Debo there. And then as we saw on Christmas, Week 16 loss, 33-19 against the Ravens, when in the box score, the Niners were pretty even with Baltimore, but they turned the ball over five times. In those games, the passing attack produced 
minus .12 EPA per attempt, number 17 in the NFL. They had a 44% success rate. That was still number six. Yards per attempt was number seven, but the completion rate, 59.1%, number 28. So some good, some bad there. More on this. Another metric they were bottom five in was interception rate. Uh, Purdy threw five touchdowns to eight interceptions in those games. His 6.1% interception rate, number two worst. And his touchdown interception rate, sixth worst in the NFL. In the Super Bowl, Purdy was was much worse than his in-season averages, plus .13 EPA per attempt, 41% success rate, 6.7 6.7 yards per attempt, 61% completion rate, and then the touchdown to interception ratio, 1 to 0. And we know this months removed from that heartbreaking February night. Brock Purdy could have played better in the Super Bowl. Kyle Shanahan and Brock Purdy have to do better game planning, scheming up plays, executing plays against tough defenses, but... It's almost like sometimes young quarterbacks who don't have a lot of experience under their belt struggle against the elite teams. It happens. And I don't think that Kyle Shanahan called or devised his best game plan against the Kansas City Chiefs, but that's a Chiefs team that was one of the best defenses from pole to pole, start to finish, in the NFL last year, led by a defensive coordinator in Steve Spagnuolo, who has now won two Super Bowls, with Kansas City, and then was also winning Super Bowls as a defensive coordinator with the New York Giants. Purdy last year also, he was under pressure on 40% of his throws. That was top third in the NFL. The NFL high, Justin Fields at 49%. And you wonder why I talk about the offensive line on this program quite frequently and why the Niners need to improve it. Because if Brock Purdy wasn't under duress and under pressure for 40% of his throws last year. And the Niners were still the best offense in the National Football League. Imagine what they could do with better offensive line play. So some important trends and data, analytics, and statistics that hopefully Kyle Shanahan and Purdy see for how they can improve. And I think that naturally with more experience, Brock Purdy is going to be able to improve. But trailing in games, going up against elite defenses, areas in which and why Brock Purdy struggled a year ago. Let's pop back up this poll question here. If you think Brock Purdy is a top 10 quarterback, hit that thumbs up icon, like the video. If not, I want you to comment why. Thank you so much, as always, for supporting us here on the Niners Report. Short form content, long form content. We do it all. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, make sure you give me a follow on social media. I'm on X at Chase underscore Senior. Instagram at Chase underscore senior. Thanks for rocking with us.